Hi everyone, welcome to Monthly Messages with your Angels and your Higher Self with me, Julie Poole. If this is your first time here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe, click that little bell so you don't miss a thing. All the cards that I use are in the description below and the links to your weeklies and your other monthlies for your moon and rising, all in the description below. All right then, let's dive right in. Hello, my beautiful people. So how are we as we go into September? Well, first of all, before we start, as you can see, I'm in my new home. I finally moved. Um, the summer has been intense here, very, very hot, as I know it has for many, many people. And I hope you have survived this incredible heat wave that we've had across a lot of the world through July and August. So um, what else have you survived? You have survived three eclipses in four weeks through July and August. So pat yourself on the back and say, oh my God, I'm so glad that's out of the way. You have survived Mercury retrograde, as have I. Um, the amount of things that have gone wrong um, through Mercury retrograde have been silly. I'm a Virgo, as you know, and so Mercury is my ruling planet. So in the three weeks it went retrograde, this is a typical sort of thing. My new tenancy contract was incorrect and is having to be completely rewritten and redone. My removals dates, which were supposed to be the 8th, was suddenly changed with very short notice to the 5th. Um, what else? Um, I went to buy my car found out that they need my tenancy agreement for my car which was invalid so that the paperwork for the car wasn't done this is very typical of mercury retrograde and what we've got to do is try not to get really wound up and frustrated we just say okay well if i choose to sign contracts and try and buy electronics um, during mercury retrograde i have to check all the detail all the fine print be very very careful and if it does go wrong try not to get too wound up so we got through that. What else? Mars has, was retrograde until the end of August. I think 26, Mars goes straight. So as we go into September, we're starting now to get this energy moving with us to a gentle flow into the next phase of the rest of this year, the last three months. So thank goodness for that. But before we start, just pat yourself on the back and go, Man, that was intense. There were heavy energies. There was emotional energies. There was all sorts coming up from the past. It was really hard work. And I got there and I released, let go, purged, um, had meltdowns, had tantrums, whatever you did. I'm sure we all did, but we got through it. So well done. Now, let's see what September brings for each of the 12 signs. All right, my darlings, let's crack on. Hi Leos, how are you for September? I hope you had a lovely birthday in August. Those of you are August birthdays. Now let's see what we've got for you for September. Now, can we have messages clear, concise for messages for Leo, please, for September? What does Leo need to know for September? Can we have some information for Leo for September? We've got the King of Swords. We've got the Four of Cups jumping out. Do we want that one as well? Yes, we do. Okay, we want that the right way round. The two of wands and I want this one. Okay, now which ones of these need to be the right way up? Okay, all of them need to be the right way up. Okay, so you're starting the month with the King of Swords. Now, this is you, okay? <laughs> Leos, you are the kings, whether you're king or queen, you're kings, all right? You are powerful and strong and fiery and passionate. Now, what we want to do is bring that into there, into those thoughts, into the mind, because you are such strong characters, my darlings, and you can focus on what it is that you want. Now, I want to go to this one because we're wanting... Mm, no, we're not wanting, we're having, they're correcting me, new opportunity coming in here. But we have to start with this first. So let's just stay with this king for a moment. So what you're wanting to do is focus in September, the energy for the whole month. This is the overall energy of you being the king. Now he is in charge of his thoughts, of his beliefs of what he wants what he feels he deserves now whether you're male or female doesn't matter i want you to step into that king of swords energy and say i decide 
I create, I co-create with the universe, I can create anything I choose. We need to be very clear and concise because I'm feeling at the beginning of the month he is almost upside down, not quite. So I'm feeling at the beginning of September there's a little bit of confusion and I want you to clear this and you will clear it. You'll get more and more clear in your mind and in your heart about what it is you want by about the 5th or 6th of um, September. As you get clear, this is linked to this one. I'm just going to bring him in for a moment, this Four of Cups, because this is a card about feeling a little bit bored, a little bit disillusioned. Mm, I thought that would make me happy, but actually... I'm not that happy okay it's not that you're unhappy but you want more there is a I'm, they're giving me a lot of energy in the heart here a lot of desire coming up in the heart for I want and deserve more I want more of what I have okay so it's not that you're ungrateful for what you've got you are grateful but you want it to be bigger better, brighter, sparklier than it is so there's a little bit of disillusionment and this is what we want the king to sort out. So getting those thoughts in order, being very clear about what it is that you are a little bit disillusioned with, and then you can manifest something that is going to enhance it. I don't feel that you're throwing out the baby with the bathwater. I don't feel you're getting rid of whatever this is that's making you bored. I feel that you want to just put some bells and whistles on it to make it bigger and brighter, to make it better. And so, using that very clear energy of the king, you're going to be really clear about what else you want to bring in or how you want to make it bigger and better and brighter. Whether this is a relationship or a job or a home, it, it's going to mean different things for different people. But this is the energy for you, Leo, for September, is saying... I realize where I'm um, a little bit disillusioned. I'm going to work through with the king um, how I can make things better. I'm going to ask the universe for help with that. I recognize where I'm a little bit mm, uh, stagnant or a little bit unfulfilled. And I'm now going to draw that to me and have um, new things coming in that is going to add to what I already have, which is going to make it bigger and brighter. Now, there's some opportunities coming in here for you to enable that to happen. All right, so we're coming to a crossroads about, yeah, I'm wanting to move forward, but I feel that I want to bring with me what I already have. So I don't feel, let me just get some more information. Can you be a bit clearer, please? All right, so if your relationship, for example, um, is it's it's good but you want it to be brilliant if your job is okay but you want it to be wonderful that's what we are enhancing okay now this is about collaboration because we've got the three of pentacles here this is a card of collaboration working in partnership with people drawing on help from other people ideas as well okay so looking around you either at work or at home and your friendships wherever and starting to look at how you can by using other people to enhance your life and you're enhancing them because we are always co-creating with everybody else we're starting to put more meat on the bones everything's getting a little bit richer and deeper and better anything else you want me to say now i want to go to the syrian um star seed tarot as well what else does leo need to know please can you give me a bit more information for leo for september i don't have these cards on my computer yet guys um i will have them up for next month so for now i'm gonna go with this one i've got the two of chalices uh, which is the two of cups let me bring it up Okay, so the Two of Cups is predominantly about relationships, love, all right? Now, this is what we're wanting to enhance. For many of you, you're either wanting to bring a relationship in because you're single, or you're wanting to make better the relationship that you have, all right? They're very close, they're very in love, they're very entwined. So for many of you, you are looking at um, your relationships, your romantic relationships in September and saying, how can I 
enhance it? How can I increase that closeness, that intimacy? For those of you who are single, we're wanting to bring in a new love. And we had that too of of ones there which is opportunities so let's be open to opportunities for new love and open to opportunities for enhancing existing love all right that's what they want me to say on that one where else what else do you want me i want to go to <laughs> the bottom card on the bottom of the deck the ace of chalices all right so you've got the ace and the two all right this is lovely the ace is new beginnings fresh starts everything being um uh, kind of washed clean and starting again and making it happier what else do you want me to tell them about this card so i'm getting around um 10th to the 15th of September this is where we have this new opportunity coming in that's going to hit around the new moon and new moons are always about something new coming in so I want you to manifest and focus um, on creating deeper better romantic relationships and to draw to you those of you who are single that love because the opportunity is there for you now it's there for you to take there is this beautiful um, cup being offered to you a cup of happiness that is overflowing overflowing all right so this is lovely energies very romantic very love based what else do you want me i want to go to the angel cards now for you guys what do the angels want to add for leos i'm quite excited for you guys this is lovely what else do your angels want to add for september for leos please Look, we've got the pink rose here growing the pink rose now okay the energy of the card is growing this is exactly what we're talking about we want that relationship that you already have to grow deeper to become richer i'm feeling as i look at the card there and as you look at it as it comes on the screen i want to say that this was a single rose and now there's more flowers coming off it. It is growing exponentially. This was one, now it's three, and very soon it's going to be five. It's about it getting richer. It's getting, um, it's just growing beautifully. And this is about the love within you growing. As your love grows, you are more compassionate, more open to intimacy, real intimacy, real connections. And this is the energy for you for September. It's predominantly about love and connections and intimacy, and it's beautiful. I'm so excited for you guys, let me know. I don't do love readings as such, but this is the energy for you for September. Mm -hmm. let me know comment below and um, I will look forward to seeing you next month in October for more messages from your angels and your higher self take care Leo lots of love bye bye